Hey camp, Coach Scott back with you. Now it's time to talk about strength training as part of your basic programming, basic fitness programming. So what that is going to entail is you pick exercises um, and you pick sets and reps for those exercises. So for our program, we're going to do a full body uh, strength training program, which means that you're gonna work all major, you know, major body parts, arms, legs, core, all in the same day. And if you remember from our basic programming video, our strength training days are Tuesdays and Fridays. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick your exercises, your sets and reps for each exercise, and plug those into your uh, program that you've started from the other video. So a quick rundown of some examples of exercises um, to hit those major body parts. Um, you want to hit your quads, so that's the front of your legs. Um, you want to hit your hamstrings and glutes, that's the back of your legs. For your arms and upper body, you want to do pushing uh, exercises, so push-ups, um, something like that, for the push for your chest and shoulders. Um, for the pulling, for the counteract of those pushing muscles, you want to do pulling exercises, so like a bent over row or something, uh, something along those lines. Uh, and then for the core, you can do um, some sit-ups or some planks. So we'll do quick demonstrations. I'm gonna give you a demonstration of one set of each of those exercises um, that you can do. You can follow along with me, and then you can see what works for you as far as number of repetitions um, for, your, uh, for your strength program. So for quads, like I said, we can do squats, easy body weight squats, hands out in front of you. Um, squat down like you're sitting in a chair butt behind you um, if your hands are up your cue to stop is going to be when your elbows touch your knees that's one repetition and then we'll do that for eight three four five six and then for the last two i'm going to show you that you can also grab a weight something um, that works for you not too heavy um, probably on the order of um, 5, 10, 15 pounds. Hold it in front of you about chin level, um, about a foot from your face. Squat down, same thing, elbows touch knees. That's one and two. So that's your squats. So you can use a weight or you can use body weight. That's depending on your skill level. Um, for the hamstrings and the glutes, that's a little bit more challenging, but we can make it work. We're gonna sit on our bottoms, feet flat on the ground. We're gonna lay on our backs, hands to our sides, and we're gonna push up our hips towards the sky. You'll feel a little bit of pull in your hamstrings and your sit muscles, your bottom, your glutes. So you push straight up, two, three, four. These are hip raises. Five, six, seven, eight. Now that did the back of our legs. So now we fit our legs. Now we're gonna do our chest and shoulders. For that, we can do a standard push-up, or if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can do dumbbell presses lying on your back or barbell presses, something like that. But for a push-up, pretty basic. <clears throat> Up plank position and elbows back towards the back behind us straight down straight up that's two three four remember if it's challenging for you you can put your knees down if it's if eight or ten is too many go for five or six and work on increasing your number six seven Eight. Good job. So that was the pushing. Now for pulling, we're gonna grab our resistance band. We're gonna stand on the middle of the band with our right foot grabbing both sides. Our left foot's gonna be a little behind, kind of like a stagger step. Our left toe will be even with our right heel. Feet are about hip width apart. And your upper body is going to have a flat back and about 45 degrees to the ground. And you're going to pull both sides of the resistance band straight up towards your hips. And that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, trying to pinch your shoulder blades together, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that was the pulling to counteract the pushing. So last but not least, we're gonna do our core. Like we're back doing a push up in plank position. And we're gonna hold that for one full minute. It's gonna be our first set. Since we're not doing repetitions, we'll do a minute hold. If that's too long, start with 30 seconds and work your way up. So one minute is one set. And then between all of those sets, I want you to rest from somewhere between one and two minutes until you feel like your body has recovered and you're ready to move on to the next set, okay? Good job, you can substitute any of those exercises for something that's similar, of similar motion, pushing, pulling, squatting, something like that. Talk to your coach, um, you know, reach out to any of us coaches for alternative ideas based on the kind of equipment that you have access to, and we'll be glad to help you out. So great job, we'll see you next time.